Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how you can use the terminal to copy files when the Finder fails you. So recently I got in a situation where I needed to copy the data from all these data DVDs back to a hard drive. I would drag and drop, holding the Option key, the DVD to the hard drive and it would commence copying all of the data on the DVD to the hard drive. But then it would hit a file that I have a problem with. Sometimes this was a package file, an older type of install file for Mac OS X. Other times it was very different types of files and it would come up with an error and simply stop copying. It would stop copying in the middle of a subfolder of a subfolder of a folder and I'd end up with half of the data over on my drive and I'd have to figure out what wasn't copied and manually copy each individual folder afterwards. It was very complex and I really just wanted it to skip these files it couldn't copy and copy everything that it could. Well, it turns out the Finder just couldn't really do it, but the terminal could do it easily. Let me show you how. So you can find terminal in your applications folder. Uh, when you run it you get a screen kind of like this, although the default is for a white background with black text. I'm going to go ahead and type df, which will list all the different devices and drives attached. And the key to this is finding out the actual real name as terminal will see it. And here I can find the DVD that I've inserted, which is an iPhoto library 2003 to 2005. And here's the name, it's slash volume slash iPhoto library. I'm just going to select it and copy it so I can paste it into a command exactly as it appears here. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the place where you're going to copy the files to. So for instance, I'm going to go into my documents folder. So that would be in users and my username, documents. And there I am. Now to copy we use the CP command. But the CP command by itself will only copy a file. If you have a folder it won't look inside the folder. Matter of fact it will complain to you about the folders. So what you want to do is you want to tell it you want to copy folders and folders inside of folders and files inside of that etc. You want to do that with dash R. R for recursive. In other words look inside of everything and keep looking deeper and deeper. And it will copy everything starting with the directory that you're going to specify. The next thing you want to do is you want to tell it to retain all the properties of the files. So you want to put a P there too. So we have R and P. Now the next one is optional. You can do V for verbose. That will basically give you output of every single file it's copying so you can see what's happening. If you leave that off it will just be quiet unless it encounters an error. Now we want to put the name of the place we're copying from. Now we've copied before from the df command the exact file of the volume we want. So we're just going to put a quote and paste it in there. The reason we need a quote is because there's spaces in the name as there typically are in Mac files and folders and DVDs and CDs etc. If you put a space in a command line in the terminal it will take this as a separation of parts of the command. You don't want that. You want to tell it this is a full name of that volume so you want to put a quote, paste in that volume name which includes spaces that you see and then close the quote like that. Now if we hit return it will copy this entire volume to the location that we're at. Now we're not done quite yet. We need to show it where to copy to. Now since we've already navigated to the directory we're copying to we can simply tell it we want it in the current location. And you do that with a dot slash basically saying the same directory. Now when I hit return we'll start to see all the items copied to this new location. So while it's doing that I can actually go ahead and look in the finder in my documents and I can see that there is a folder with the name of that directory and it's copying stuff into it. There's the iPhoto library since it's an iPhoto disk and look you can see it adding folders right there as we watch. Now if you ever made a mistake or noticed it's copying the wrong thing you can always hit Control and C, not Command and C but Control and C to break uh, running a program in terminal like that. Um, and while you're in there you can also look up more information about the CP command. The way to do that is type man for manual and CP and we'll give you all sorts of information and other options in case you're interested. So again the advantage of this is that it won't fail if there's just one file it can't copy. It'll just give you an error message to keep going. Matter of fact if you leave out the V for verbose you'll see nothing happening unless it runs into an error. So it's a great way if you're having trouble to see exactly which files it didn't copy and perhaps you can try to uh, do something with those afterwards. So that's a quick look at using CP in terminal to copy files when the finder fails you. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.